everyone welcome back to my channel so today I just want to update you all on my life after my Disney college program if you haven't been following my videos just to fill you in I did start my Disney college program on August 11th 2014 and then my program actually ended on May 8th 2015 so I did choose to extend my program it was posted in January but I extended through same role same location so whenever I got my program I was placed in future world east attractions so I ended up at mission space um, in between my extension, like after I started extending, I got cross-trained at the Seas with Nemo and Friends, so I worked both attractions during my program. Um, I would not trade attractions for anything. That was like my number one, besides character attendant, but that's really hard to get. But attractions was amazing. Um, Future World East, probably not the best location to be put in, honestly. Um, but for the experience, it was definitely like worth it um, the people the like the number one thing is the people that I've met I would not trade that for anything like my roommates I couldn't imagine not knowing them before I even got into the program and met them on the Facebook page and everything like that like it was just weird like the way whenever we first all moved in together it was like we already knew each other before which we did but like before that like it wasn't even weird living with people that I had never personally met before um people awesome mission space people they were okay. Um, it was hard adjusting to like the full-time people because they see college programmers go in and out of the building all the time. So, um, they, it's kind of hard to like form a relationship with full-timers. Um, part-timers, it was okay. Um, but my the like the people that were in my program with me that went in, um, it was awesome. Whenever I extended, it was really cool too to see the perspective because it was same role same location so it was really cool to see new people come in while I'm still in the program and like just seeing them come in and see their excitement and like kind of reliving like oh like I remember my first day like I don't know it was really cool um, cross training at the seas was really cool too because it's kind of like you kind of have the background of attractions so you go in basically already knowing how the attraction is going to work Nemo is a little bit easier than Mission Space because it is an omni mover, so it's constantly moving. You're just walking on the platform and watching the um, little button board, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> My location, friends, everything was like awesome so that's why I chose to extend to update you on my life after my program I actually decided to stay in Florida it was kind of not really a last-minute decision I was just kind of like flip-flopping like should I stay should I go back home I don't know if you know this but it's very hard to be an adult and do adult things and find an apartment and it's like in the perfect price range it was just kind of like uh I posted a Facebook status and I was like hey I have two other roommates we're looking for a three bedroom this price range blah 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 and somebody who actually worked with me at Mission Space was like hey I have this place for rent you want it and I was like heck yeah it was an awesome price awesome deal so I was like yeah okay and it was like very last minute very last minute but that falls back on the whole I met this girl at Mission Space if I wouldn't have met her, I wouldn't live here, and it wouldn't have worked out. That's just how it all ties together. So once I decided that I was going to stay, I was like, oh, okay. Backtrack. On your college program, if you know that you want to stay, watch your points. I didn't watch my points because I was kind of like, I'm not going to stay here. I'm going to move back to West Virginia. And I don't know why I thought that, but it was just kind of one of those things where I had too many points to be considered a transfer from my college program to go to Parter full time. So I wasn't able to get a job with Disney as soon as my program ended. And I figured that out probably a month before my program was supposed to end. So I was like, oh, like I need a job. I have a place to live. I need, you know what I mean? Like it was just kind of like really stressful. Um, so what I wanted to do was kind of find a job that was Disney, but not Disney. That way, whenever I could go and apply again, to be considered to be hired for Disney, I would have this thing on my resume of, yeah, like I really love working for Disney, but I couldn't get rehired, but I still wanted to work for Disney this bad, so I worked at this place to show you guys that I really want to work here. On a whim, I just decided to apply to Basin at Downtown Disney, and I got hired. Um, definitely one of the perks of the program is having the Disney College program on your resume. Actually, during my interview, um, the guy who interviewed me he said that people who have the college program on their resume they're the first people to get pulled for interviews because they know that we've worked for the company we know 
how a good business is supposed to run so they always say that if they see college program okay we're gonna interview and I know that like people say that in the videos like it's a great resume builder it actually is so I got the job at Basin I worked there for I started the day after my program ended so it was just kind of like boom 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 like on to the next thing um Basin is okay uh I mean, it's not Disney um, but just a month ago I went to casting to see if I was able to apply again because you have to wait a certain amount of weeks before you can apply if you are a no transfer so I went and applied um, I was a yes rehire so that's good um, so whenever I applied I did my regular application at casting and then I came home and got my web-based interview and then after my web-based interview I passed that good thing because I was so nervous about it um, I passed that and then I went on to a regular face-to-face -face interview so whenever I showed up for my interview at casting the guy who interviewed me actually started out at Mission Space which what are the odds he actually trained at every single building what are the odds um, we kind of connected over that which I don't know like how that turned out like it was just kind of mind-blowing like we knew the same people and we were like yeah so you know this person oh my gosh yeah I know that person so it was just kind of like oh my god you know uh, the only thing that he asked me about was my points and I kind of explained my whole tonsil situation is my strep throat that was a bad experience um but he was like yeah like that seems like a very reasonable like you know what I mean like excuse and he was like just make sure to wash your points if you do get rehired and he said that um, there weren't any attractions positions available and there weren't any merchandise positions available there weren't like basically anything I wanted to do like wasn't available so I was like okay so what do I do and he's like well you could be put on a wait list which could take a while because like I really want to be with the company now I've missed the perks of being with Disney I love working with Disney as a company they have great morals like they say that Disney doesn't treat their employees well Disney actually like they have your back um some of the coordinators and managers in your location might not be the best but Disney as a whole like the corporate side of it they really watch after their employees and they try to do what's best for them so that's something that I really miss because at Basin I didn't I didn't really get that vibe just kind of like a whatever you have I'll take it honestly and um so we said well we have this position open let me read you what it entails before you say yes because I know you're kind of like jump in the gun like you want to be with the company but let me tell you what it entails what he had left was private dining at the Yacht and Beach Club which is basically like room service kind of stuff and everything like that and I was like yes like I will do that because I worked at a restaurant before you guys might know um I worked as a waitress so I felt like okay yeah like that's something I could definitely try um especially just to be back with the company so that starts here soon it starts August 30th in the meantime I quit Basin because that was not the products are great products are awesome everything it's just the way that they handle things there is not the best um, that's just my opinion I just I think I was spoiled by Disney a little bit so whenever I went to a company that's more privately owned it was just kind of like oh that's an update on my life I live in Florida I love it I would not trade this for anything I do get a little homesick every now and then but that's just because I miss my family but overall for me this is the best place that I need to be right now something that I am looking forward to is I actually have a girlfriend um which some of you may not know I mean you might if you follow me on Instagram um but so um we really want to start a channel together I'm not sure exactly what it's going to be or what it's going to entail or anything like that but once that starts going I'll let you guys know this is just my after my DCP experience vlog if you want to know more into detail I know I didn't really go into detail about it um like into like traditions and stuff like that which that was a long time ago so I don't really remember it but um if you want me to go into detail about that just leave a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can um with the best answer that I can give you <laughs> Thank you for watching if you made it this far thank you it's gonna rain Florida rain I don't know if you even heard that or not but there was thunder I used to end my video with oh what did I used to end it with I forget oh I used to end it with have a magical day <laughs> so corny so corny Let's have a new outro and just say, 
I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. I promise. And I'll see you in the next video.